I'm Jo and welcome to today's video. Now today I have a review for what is turning into being my book series of the year. Okay, this is the third instalment of the um, Bow Street Duchess mystery series. Um, this is Silence of Deceit by Cara Devlin. Okay, so in this one we have Audrey who is the Duchess. Um, she is back and pulled in to yet another murder mystery um, which is she's going to solve with um, Hugh who is our Bow Street officer, Hugh Marsden. Um, these two just keep getting thrown back together um, and I am here for it. I am loving it. I love, love, love the dynamic that is between them. Also, um, in this one, um, okay, I want to give a little spoiler, tiny little spoiler, okay, um, because this series is like a really slow, and I mean slow burn romance, okay, <laughs> um, between Hugh and Audrey. Now, obviously, Audrey is married to the Duke. Um, if you have read the past books in the series, um, so this is your spoiler. So if you don't want any spoilers at all, turn away right now. Okay, so as we discovered in um, past books in the series, um, the Duke has some health issues. Okay, so that's, we've learned a little bit more about that in this book as well. Okay, so I'm... I am definitely seeing the setup of how it's going to be possible for Audrey and Hugh to get together in the future. Um, the sexual tension between the two of them is like off the charts. Um, but anyway, coming back to uh, this book. So anyway, yeah, I am going to read the rest of the books in the series and hopefully <laughs> they will eventually get together. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to. So, and now I see how that's going to happen. So, there you go. Um, anyway, so this book. Uh, in this particular book, um, if you remember from reading previous books, Audrey spent some time in an insane asylum where she was put um, by her uncle. And um, in this one, we get to meet some other characters who spent time in the asylum with her, okay? So now, um, this was obviously due to her special gifts, the ones that she's been using to help you uh, resolve the murder mysteries and things up until this point. Uh, and she's still using them. So, there you go. Um, so in this one, a body turns up in the Thames, uh, which is so bloated from having been in the water and things that are unrecognisable by the face, but she is wearing one of Audrey's old dresses. Okay, so Hugh hurries down to the house to make sure that it's not her, that she's in fact still alive, which she is. Um, but this obviously pulls her into the investigation yet again because she has the connection to uh, what's going on. So, all this turns out that there is a link back to the time spent in the asylum together. I think that I don't want to give away any more spoilers <laughs> than absolutely necessary. Um, but I am loving this series. I, Susan, I can't wait to get the next book. Now, this one, I bought a copy of this from Amazon because... Um, Obviously, if you checked out my reviews for books one and two, uh, the first one I got from NetGalley. I got an art copy of that. Um, I will link up my reviews for these for you. Um, the second one I got from Amazon and devoured it, absolutely loved it. This one, I was like, I was in a bit of a slump because I read a book and I was like, meh. And so I wanted something that I knew I was going to enjoy and this did not let me down. This was like, yes, was exactly what I needed. Um, and yeah, so money well spent. <laughs> and I'm very much looking forward to reading the other books in the series, like I said. 
and seeing what happens and seeing if this incredibly slow burn romance um, is going to eventually come to... I mean, they've got to get together. They've got to get together. Um, but yeah, so I am... Um, this, this is my favourite series that I've discovered this year and possibly one of my favourite series ever actually because it just, it has all sorts of elements that I love. It's historical, um, it's romance, it's murder mystery, and so you've got the crimes that you need to solve and things. It has that um, interesting characters um, that play off each other. I mean, it even had the fact that she has this special power and things, so it's got even got like a paranormal element to it, if you like. Um, with her special abilities so it really has like everything <laughs> and I am here for it so anyway that is my review for today I hope you will check out this book and the other books in the series I am reading them in order I mean technically in books two and three they do give um, like the vital information that you need from the other two books to be able to read it as a standalone it's doable doing that but I think um, as is the case with a lot of series if you read them in order then it really does add to it like so so much so so much but because also because you're more invested in the characters and things as well so um, yeah my suggestion is if you haven't read the series yet then although this is doable as a standalone you have been missing out on so much if you start with this one. So start with the first book in the series and do them in order. You will not be disappointed. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.